Welcome to Lesson 11B, Master Pages in MVC. Many pages on a, web, on a website share common elements. For example, most pages on a website share a header, some type of page navigation, and a footer. Master Pages are used to store the shared elements on your page in one location. They enable you to create a consistent look and feel for your web application. In this lesson, I illustrate some of the shared sections of a web page and explain how a generic master page works. A content page is a special kind of page that supplies the content to a master page. A really cool feature of master pages is that they can be nested. Many websites use a root master page that only includes the website's header and footer. Nested master pages are then used to further customize the layout of the web pages used by that website. At times, a content page will need to output data to a master page. You can use this by using view data and then consuming that in the view for the master page. In this lesson, you create a master page with navigation and you create a content page that uses that master page. The lesson requirements are the styles.css file and the super easy recipe logo.gif file. To get started with this lesson, select New Project, ASP.NET MVC2 Empty Web Application, and enter Lesson 11B for the name of the lesson and click OK. The first thing we need to do is add a couple of files to the project. So first within the Content folder, select Add Existing Item and navigate to the style sheet, styles.css. Then add a folder, a subfolder to the content folder called images and navigate to the image file super easy recipes logo.gif. Now we're ready to create a master page. Go to the shared folders, select new item, select the MVC2 templates, and it's very easy to find the MVC2 view master page. We're going to go ahead and use the default name. Drag the style sheet over to the head element. And then add the uh, div tags. Add the div tags for the header, the navigation, and the content. And then the div tag uh, to close the content and for the footer. Now select Format Document to just clean that up a little bit. Now we need to create a controller, so create a home controller and then add an action method called add recipe. So our controller will have two action methods. It has the index action method and the add recipe action method. It's just going to return a, an empty view. Now we need to create the view. So create a new folder under the Views folder called Home. And the first one we're going to do is we're going to create two views, one an index view and an add recipe view. On the index view, select Add New Item and select the MVC2 View Content page. Change the name to index.aspx and then select the appropriate master page. We have just the one. And add a little bit of content. So for the title, just say home, and for the content, just say home. Okay. Now add the other one by using the add view dialog box. So now we're going to add the add recipe view by using the add view dialog box because there's a lot of options here. We can also so we can even select the master page right here. Just click add. When you do it that way, you do have a default title and some default content. So we're just going to click the F5 button to run the application. See now we have an application that's got uh, two items on the menu bar, the home and the add recipe.